Time JB, the ultimate writer. Oh, I'm gonna tune you up. Sorry, do it again. JB, the ultimate writer. Hey yo, hey yo, <laughs> it's your Red Scarf. What's going on, man? Uh, just chilling, my man. Hey, JB, have you ever done any combat sports yourself? Uh, I've done some Muay Thai training and I've got a uh, like, yeah. BJJ uh, background. Oh, what's your background? Uh, blue stripe one belt, which Ooh, is shit. nothing, nothing really. It's like I'm like CM Punk. I'm a lifetime white belt, <laughs> 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 life, life long white belt. Of course, Itzy Red Scarf, you've had a couple of fights, a couple of boxing matches. Yeah, yeah, yeah just in the corporate fights. Um, don't play it down. down. Don't play it down. I'll say like just a couple of corporate fights. Training. I had a great night of your corporate fight. I got yeah, so we turned up. <laughs> I was drunk <laughs> as a motherfucker that night. I think I was yelling at obscenity. And like the guy you were fighting is like a, f- a mutual Good friend great. of ours. Yeah, and yeah. I'm like yelling at obscenities at him. <laughs> <laughs> I was like Team Red Scarf that <laughs> night, man. That's how fucked up I was. Nate the White Guy, welcome back. Hey. Hey, so before we get made in, because we don't even have a guest this week, so you are the official guest this week on... Awesome. Welcome to the podcast, Welcome mate. to the Thank podcast. Welcome. Good, Welcome. good to have yeah. you along. And all that yeah. stuff. Hey, what a massive week, though. Seriously, in the, in, in the landscape of UFC, huge. this week will probably go down as one of the most controversial. It's going to go down huge, especially in particular because I think... Um, UFC 183 had also one of the highest um, grossing, in, uh, yep, but yep. also I imagine. injury tolls as well that came out of it uh, yes. was, was, was massive. But the fallout is going to be huge. JB, break it down for everyone. Yeah, so um, as you all know, last week when we were broadcasting live, we were um, doing so just before uh, the UFC 183 pay-per-view. Obviously, the main event was Anderson Silva versus Nick Diaz, and it was it was a hell of a fight. Um, you it know, was entertaining. Yeah, absolutely yeah. entertaining. Uh, Nick Diaz with some awesome <laughs> antics there in the cage. Um, <laughs> probably, the yeah. probably the best <laughs> I've ever seen. Yeah, uh, showing Anderson his back. You know, lying down on like lying down in the cage. Putting his Anderson chin out. Silva. It was genuinely hilarious to yeah. watch. Yeah, he he really um, he really did try to get in, into Anderson's head as, as he always does. Um, so great fight. Anderson ended up taking a um, decision. Uh, most judges saw all five rounds for Anderson. And I, think it, I think it was probably fair. Was, I think, it was yeah. I think yeah. Anderson still was probably... Except li- for see, Diaz was the only one that was like, are you serious? He was, I, yeah, I he was up. Every <laughs> round. Yo, but fighters... <laughs> that's fighters that's fighters tell he failed the drug test. <laughs> <laughs> but fighters always look surprised they lost. And like, <laughs> like, r- like remember when, when, when... Actually, the only fighter who wasn't surprised he lost was DC when he lost the, lost the bones. Jo- yeah, yeah. He yeah. looked like he, he knew he lost there. Yeah. He, he knew he lost in there. Do you think it's the corner's fault that he thought he lost? Because obviously your corner's got to be telling you, okay, you need to push it. They were telling him it was a close fight. No, they... These fighters... They know if they've lost or not. They know. Yeah. They know. They've been in the. They've been in the cage or in the ring. Yeah, yeah. Diaz has been a long time fighter. So, you and usually he has a higher fight rate. Um, you know, he's usually yeah, striking more. Yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, close thing, almost. Well, yeah. you know, I think the one reason that uh, Nick he showed, Diaz a lot of res- showed a lot of respect. Absolutely, he might yeah. he might think that he did better than he did because he was still conscious, which is uh, a bit of a rarity when you're fighting Anderson yeah. Silva. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you know, them knees though, them knees though, you missed them. Yeah, yeah. that's what, that's what we didn't get to see. We didn't get to see those Anderson Silva knees to the head. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, the right. and then the control and the clinch to the knees and stuff. What like do you guys think about um, sort of the the argument of ring rust or cage rust uh, as it is? What you mean in regards to Anderson Silva? Yeah, in regards to Anderson, I and also in regards to Nick. I think anyone can get rusted if you don't do something for a while. Yeah, you know, so yeah. Nick Diaz hasn't fought for a while. He's been just returned back to the UFC. Yeah, a couple of years. Yeah, and and, and um, Anderson Silva. I mean, fuck, he just come off one of the m- freakiest injuries you've yeah. ever seen. How long was has he been at? It was thirteen. It was it was a year. Yeah, yeah, just over a year. Yeah, yeah. But, but then you have fighters like Cain Velasquez. Remember when he lost to JDS the first time? Yeah, yeah. When he came back, he was. Just well, Kane, Kane's always coming back, so maybe he doesn't suffer from ring rust because yeah, he's always yeah. injured. And Kane's a lot younger than Anderson. I mean, Anderson's right. almost 41 now, I think, 41, um, something like that. But yeah, but yeah, probably run now. You know, and, and, and you have a, you think about it, like, he's at the twilight. I think I, I don't think he had any intention, he's 40, I don't think he had any intention of continuing his career. I think he I came I back. Have, hopefully he doesn't fight anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I, I hope that if he's going to fight how he fought against Nick Diaz, I wouldn't really like to see him. No, nah, let's let's be honest. It was rusty. 
Yeah, Nick yeah, Diaz. But he got tagged way too many times against a good striker. Like you know, Nick Diaz has got good fundamental boxing, but against a knockout striker, uh, Anderson would have been asleep. I think. Yeah, mm. the fight was a farce a little bit. Like it was entertaining to yeah. watch, but in regards to being a main event, ca- a main event yeah. fight at a UFC pay per view, it was a little bit farcical. It was the a antic- bit of a hard spar. The the the, the, the antics yeah. of Nick Diaz combined with probably Anderson Silva's ring rust. Yeah, it really wasn't never going to be the fight you wanted to be. And Nick Diaz. He was playing it up for the cameras. He's playing it up for the buy rates for and sure. all that sort of thing. Yeah, it's all about the money for him. It's about entertaining. Did he about take him. home seven hundred grand from that fight? I'm not sure. Is that what he took home? I think I think that was what he took home for the fight. You know, so it's not it's not a huge. I mean, and he showed Anderson Silva. He was he was very un Diaz like by showing Anderson Silva the ultimate respect. Yeah, not only after the fight. But when he was crying and, and stuff, when they, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and when they t- when they touch gloves, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. not that's not Nick Diaz. Yeah, Nick Diaz will Nick be Diaz like, like, be like birds in your up. face when yeah, when yeah. Nick Diaz that's is around. That's exactly right. But it's Anderson fucking Silva. Yeah, but and re- and so it doesn't surprise me. I mean, they're probably friends. They probably discuss what's going to happen, what's going to go down in this yeah. fight. It's not like there was any real emotional like fucking I'm going to fight you and I'm yeah. going to kill you. Well, you know, Nick Diaz has a bit of a reputation of being a jobber um, for the UFC. You know, yeah. take, taking those fights for the cash, which is you know what what you what you've said as well. Dollar dollar bill, yo. Yeah, well, that's right. You know how uh, how many other people made half a million dollars on last Sunday night? You know, Nick Diaz. Made Definitely not me. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell. You, I can tell you right now. <laughs> even right now, I'm losing money. <laughs> if Dana White offered me seven hundred grand to fight Silver, I'd probably. Go. I would fight the shit out I'd of him. I'd get knocked out for seven hundred yeah. grand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need, like. I could break an arm. You guys are fucking liars. I'd do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you? Okay, okay, here you go. Would you let? Would you let Anderson Silver break your leg for half a million dollars? I know about I'd that. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I would. I would, be honest, I would be honest, seriously be fight him. I would fight him. Uh, I've never broken a bone. Middle. I don't know how much it hurts. It but, fucking uh, hurts. hurts, bro. Don't you do it. Have you never <laughs> had a broken bone? No. Let's organize that. I've had oh like fingers, but nothing like major. No. Okay. What's right. the worst injury you've had? I've done lots of like torn the ligaments. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, got, like, I got this really bad cough right now. No, no, no. So, but would you let? Okay, would you let Anderson Silva knock you out for half a million dollars? Probably, yeah. Okay. Here you go. Would you lick a guy's dick? For ten million dollars, that's, that's a lot of money. <laughs> oh, that's oh. a yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's not a no. It's a yes. <laughs> we, we play this game all the time, though. What, what, what would you, what would you do? I'm the kind right. of person where it's like I would do pretty much anything for a good amount of money. The way you're holding Man. the mic now makes a lot of sense. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, hold there. it with two hands. <laughs> one <laughs> hand, one hand up, one hand down. One <laughs> hand up, one. <laughs> well, you know the description well, JB. Hey, <laughs> he goes, well, I'm, I'm, I, I, I've done some Brazilian jiu-jitsu. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, so the whole thing was a little bit farcical. So, yeah. I don't and know. I think the best part was when Anderson hugged John Jones. And probably whispered in his ear, I'm, I'm in love with the Coco. <laughs> <laughs> I see you uh, soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, hey, my dealer's here. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you back. Yeah, hey, uh, I'll get you in the back. Hey. Ay, ay, yeah. Which brings us to the next part of the conversation. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit darker. Let's talk about Nick Diaz firstly. Um, who gives a shit if he fucking yeah. shows <laughs> marijuana? <laughs> no one, anyone was no one gave a fuck about John Jones other than the Jones haters. Yeah. All right. So who really cares about Nick Diaz Showing um, marijuana and in a system. Yeah, I yeah. know people right now with marijuana in the system. Yeah, same. <laughs> <laughs> See, but like the thing is, Diaz has been caught with this many times before, so yeah. he's no stranger to uh, marijuana. So, and so uh, what was the big honest, deal? Why uh, marijuana is not a fighter fighting enhancement. No. So it's not going to make you faster. And it's also illegal in California where he lives. Yeah. yeah, but in saying that, neither is the PEDs, which came up in Anderson Silva's blood though but that, they that are is illegal. debatable don't get me wrong they are debatable and they are used for things like cutting weight and stuff yeah. like that yeah. they are debatable uh, uh, so they are they are illegal you know that and don't i'm not i'm not saying you know yeah I, I just don't believe that anderson silver was given an edge by using them um he well and hence why dana white just and they decided to let him fight the go through of it the the, the <laughs> i love the it you know they just decided to let him fight make the money josh make the money <laughs> josh Josh Destalone. I want you to do, do yeah, this. Yeah, I'm going to try and pronounce this. Do this. Josh Destalone and... Say and that again. Josh say that again. Josh say that again. I, I want to get a really good sound bite of this. Say it. Go. Josh Destalone? No. Fuck. <laughs> what is it? How, uh, uh, okay, uh, Josh Destalone? Josh Destalone. Josh... Oh, okay. Josh and the other one is and Josh Thing. Am I right? Yeah, that was good. Yeah. That was good. Yeah, but these are both... Uh, they are banned. They are illegal substances. They are not, um, you know... 
performance enhancing as such. Like you, you know, you don't take them to get bigger muscles, yeah, faster reactions. Yeah, but it's still banned. The in anabolic I agree with like you there. I, I do way, agree. Y- it's still banned. As like for me, if you get a mental edge or any type of edge, like recovery edge, anything, then that that is yeah. performance enhancing. Okay, let me let me throw something out there, and so. I'm going to get there. Are you going to throw it? <laughs> Drost- Drostanolone. <laughs> winding up. Okay. Yeah. Drostanolone is an anabolic steroid. Okay. And the main purpose of it, okay, of Drostanolone is, to to yeah, is, is lowering the cholesterol levels. Okay. But it's also used as a treatment for some forms of cancer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Now, wh- I don't see any so other reason. So are you saying silver has cancer? No, no. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you heard it here first. Oh, wow. Is Breaking there, news. Is there other things at play here? You know, is, is, is all I'm saying, you know. I don't know. But end of the day, I, I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find reasons banned. to defend yeah, the, yeah, great, the greatest. Yeah, you know? I mean, <laughs> that's not taking anything away are. from like his skill set, but unfortunately, it is a banned substance. Is the result going to be changed to a no contest? Most it has been. It has been. It already has been. been. I haven't followed the story since. Well, the news then be though. quiet, all right? <laughs> no, 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 it has been already. So yeah. he hasn't won a fight since 2012. Then no, he's won a fight. We know he's won a fight. When who cares what the who cares what the record says about the no contest? Oh. No, so who cares? I'm sorry. No, no, fuck that. The John no, 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 I'm sorry. So you win a fight. Okay, I'm sorry. Itty goes outside, has a fight with JB, and JB beats Itty. And we, we J- Itty comes yeah, in and goes, no, no, but it wasn't on record. It wasn't that's a fight. I don't care. He won the fight. Yeah, yeah but this is this is a sport. <laughs> it's not just that. <laughs> These guys are athletes, man. Yeah, they're, they're not brawling outside of sports bar. That's a you, you're a change man. I don't know I what... <laughs> It is the Eight good women. Do you not like? Do you not like Spider? Is that what it is? No, I, I think he's an amazing fighter. But end of the day, is th- this is the rules. Like you got to view yeah. everyone the same. I, I yeah. don't think like you know you can see Anderson Silva taking peds, what, regardless of what their main function is, any differently to any other fighter in any or league any taking yeah. peds. Yeah, that's right. Do you guys think um, if you look at A Rod, Barry Bonds, all those kind of baseball guys, where yeah. it puts an asterisk on their career? Yeah. Do you think it's done it to Silva in any way? That's one fight. Yeah, it, it, it does yeah. tarnish the record, but not not like there are more great things to say about Anderson yeah. Silva than this one. Does that also raise the Anderson question of Anderson has he kind of Silva is thirty four and six in his MMA career. Yeah. It is one fight of forty, which is not going to matter. You know? yeah, yeah, so it's just one fight. And it was against a fighter that don't get me wrong. That is a stoner. <laughs> <laughs> who is a who <laughs> is <laughs> not? He yeah, Diaz he is not he fighting for the middleweight title anytime nah, soon, Nick no. Diaz. <laughs> in any federation. Nick Diaz is calling CM Punk out, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> that just shows you know. Yeah. No, he, he's, no, so I don't know. Uh, fuck, I'm... I'm D- does it raise the question of has he done it before as well? Like, it, it I've obviously I'm sure like they've got really strict regulations in that yeah. in the MMA, yeah. but if you go back a couple of years, was it picked up? Was it missed? Why, is it, why has yeah, he done it is the question. Three yeah, guys it's from it's his gym in the last year have actually failed drug tests as well. Also, so it was the it same doctor that um, that big big f- oh sorry yeah Bigfoot uh, accused of drugging his sample uh, with the okay. fight after the Mike Hunt uh, fight. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, so there's w- so that means there's a doctor in Mexico that is laughing right now. Is it now. Michael Jackson's doctor? <laughs> 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 they, or or is it John Jones, aka the drug lord, <laughs> aka <laughs> the UFC drug lord? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I like heavyweight drug dealer. But nothing, <laughs> okay, the thing with the, the John Jones thing is other than like some UFC, like like true like fucking in, inbreded UFC fans, okay, don't give a shit about John Jones taking cocaine, okay? The only people that care are the crossover media people and all it's done is brought extra attention on the UFC. Yeah. I think I think Dana White said like, yo, Jonesy, that Bones, that take that a line, man. This one's on me, bro. That night. He's oh, like, take a man. line. <laughs> <laughs> because he, cause it's going to get the attention that it does. This, however, is something a little bit m- different, which I don't know. Dan- I d- the, the Dana White do the best, the, the right thing by letting the fight go ahead? Because they would have they known the results. Well, mm. a, as a business person, he did the right thing. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. But um, in the wake of the Jones, um, you Scandal. know, test, etc., uh, w- was it the right thing? Um, maybe not for the image of MMA, but, you know, if, if what you're saying about people, uh, other than media, people don't care about the Jones thing, then, you know, probably was the right thing to do. Do you believe, okay, let's, l- let's look at the business perspective here of UFC, moving away from, from the Anderson Silva yeah. um, uh, drug results. Do you think that as an as, as a businessman, Dana, uh, the, the concept of the interim title, the interim championship, is the right way to go about how how they what yeah how they operate the top tier of each division? 
I do. I think it's yeah, right. Absolutely. You don't? Why? Tell me why. you got to keep the division moving because otherwise the division stagnates and then people almost why forget don't, about why it. Why don't you strip titles? Well, that that's the other argument. That For me, if someone repeats an injury, like, you know, like Kane has, Cruz. has, yeah, Cruz, then absolutely um, strip, their, strip their title. But if it's the first injury that they've had in two years or something, I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't strip someone immediately. Okay, so in, in professional boxing, and I know it's not a good example, but it's a f- it's a, it's a it's a form of a combat sport which has been around for a lot longer than the UFC. Yeah, oh, absolutely. You you postpone the fight. Yeah. You redo the fight. Why not just do that in MMA? So well, they only fight like once. People got to get paid. Yeah, but see, boxers get paid a lot more, so they yeah, could but possibly. But you're not going to. Yeah, but they're not going to get paid anyway. Chris Weidman and Vito Belfort are not going to get. Vito Belfort might get something, but they're not going to get paid for missing the pay per view. Yeah, yeah. That's so right. so so that that argument becomes moot. Well, because what they try and do is match them up against someone else. But they're, uh, yeah, but they're, they're always going to match them up against someone else. But the expectation, though, would be, like, and I don't know the extent of Chris Weidman's injury, but from what I've read, yeah. it's not a massive major. It's not like he's going to be out for six months. Yeah. It's just pushed him out from being this paper from losing. But this now shot. what you've done is created confusion, particularly for fans that who aren't hardcore UFC fans, of interim championship versus actual championship. But th- those are actually really good fights. You know, you had like Carlos Condit versus GSP. So you're telling me if Carlos Condit fought GSP for no title, wouldn't be just as good a fight? Well, there was more on stake because uh, Condit had beaten, uh, what's his name, Diaz. Yeah. And GSP was the returning injured, you know, yeah, sure. So you're, th- you're talking about the meeting of the two championships and the and yeah, and yeah, and yeah. yeah that thing. unification process is 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 quite a good. Uh, you know, it's it's something to look forward to a bit more than than if there's nothing on the line and you're just fighting for number one contendership. Yeah, especially with the arguments between each other, you know, because the champion can be like, well, you know, I'm the real champ. What you're holding is just nothing compared yeah. to. Because um, I, I tell you what, it does do for. What another thing which I want to allude to and, and sort of move to a little bit is now how UFC 184 as a card has been weakened incredibly by Indeed. not having the main event anymore. Yeah. So uh, is Ronda Rousey the main so event? Yeah. Ron- yeah. I, I, so listen, I've got no I've got no problem with Ronda Rousey versus Kat Zingano being being the the new uh, main event m- headliner. The new main yeah. event. However, if you have a look at the rest of the card, and it's not bad. But what is your however, solution? Just however, the two main, the, the co-main event, the, the two women events. Yeah. And I'm sorry, I'm, I, I, and it's not that I, I don't like women's women's MMA. I love watching Ronda Rousey fight. I'm going to enjoy the fight with Kat Zingano. I think Misha, I think that Misha Tate <laughs> fight, that Misha Tate fight at 183 was probably the best fight. That was a good fight. That um, was a hell I of a scrap. I thought, I thought, I thought, um, fight, eh? yeah. I thought, um, sorry, well, um, I've gone blank. Sarah, um, McMahon. McMahon and and Misha Tate, Misha Tate was the best fight on the entire card almost. It definitely was. And I like women's MMA. It's yeah. not like with other women's sport, like women's basketball or anything like that, where it doesn't come up the scratch or up the par. But the card, Ronda Rousey versus Kat Zingano. Raquel Pennington versus Holly Holm. That is that is the co-main That's a good event. fight. Yeah. That's a good fight. Jake Holly Holm is the one that they think that boxing. Yeah, 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 yeah came yeah, came over. Yeah. Um, wha- what else we got here? Boxing. Jake Allenberger versus uh, Josh Koscheck. Uh, Alan Juban versus Richard Walsh. And uh, 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 who's I, I don't sorry. Um, Tony, f- who's Tony Ferguson? Uh, he's a he was a strike force guy. Uh, he was a strike force guy. Yeah. Okay, so the card for me as as a fan outside now, now if you're Dana One, you're a businessman. We know. Your your hardcore fans are gonna buy an UFC pay per view no matter what. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But this is about opening up and spreading your wings and and fucking bringing new people, new audiences in here. The card is pretty weak. N- yeah. Yeah. Disagree? To disagree? Or yeah. yeah. I I know. Like I absolutely watch it and and buy it. Um. You know. Even just the the main card is is good. Um. But you know I I buy every every event. Uh. Yeah. Know. I guess to, to the casual fan that doesn't really know much. That doesn't really follow UFC hard yeah, up. For it sure. W- it would be a, a very weak it's card because there's no big names. Yeah, it's no lacking names. Fighters. Now yeah. And although the UFC hardcore fan is the target market, you're yeah. never going to make any more money unless you unless you increase that audience. Yeah. That's yeah. the only yeah. way the business yeah. can be can be successful. It's what they've done to UFC over the last 15 years to make UFC yeah. what it is right now. Probably the number one leader in combat entertainment sport. Okay? But I mean, this is this is like the, this is the big card. You know, this is, this is, I mean... It just gets weakened. I I'm just sort of trying. What, um, wh- like what is your solution? Like I have no cancel solution. the card. No, you don't cancel the card. But yeah. I mean, sh- yeah, John Jones already did that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I wasn't happy then. Yeah, it's true. No, there's long. You don't cancel the card, but you lose. That, a, you lose a major chunk to your card. 
Why can't why can't Vito fight? Uh, actually, no, Vito's well, never going to fight anybody else. Vito yeah. turned yeah. down yeah. a fight he against Machida. Turned down. He turned down a fight against Machida. Machida said, "I'll step in, save the pay per view. We'll, we'll we'll just go at it." See, and, and I didn't even know that, but I knew Vito wouldn't take that fight because yeah. that's not in Vito Belfort's. Yeah. Um, that's not his plan. That's not him. That's not the man yeah. he is. That's right. He's not the type of man to fucking do that. No. You make Vito. How many times has Vito Belfort fucking? How many times has he dodged Chael Sonnen? Or oh yeah, you know, and think, yeah. you know. So yeah. that that's probably that's Vito Belfort. So I have no solution. It's merely bringing it up for the conversation, yeah. talking to a, f- a group of guys here who are hardcore UFC fans, um, and 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 understand sort of the the whole complexities of putting a card together. I just don't. I'm just not sold on the interim championship. Um, yeah. I, I have no solution. But I suppose that's probably been an argument that's been going I on think for me. If it's a choice between interim championship and just like a number one contendership, I, w- I would take interim championship just because there are more stakes and yeah. more excitement. How does it feel this week not having a UFC event on? A bit hollow. It's a bit I woke weird. up this morning yeah. and I was like, oh, I better start. Oh. <laughs> he was like, oh my god, now I don't have anything to write. Uh, I have to go be the uh, ultimate writer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so UFC Fight Night Henderson versus Thatch. Cool Spencer Henderson jumping in. Okay. Um, uh, filling in for Thompson. Thompson, yeah? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so looking at the card here, um, and this is probably going to be a little bit more down your alley because the card has got a lot of guys which I'm not too familiar <laughs> with. Like, who's Chris Kaleidas? He doesn't even have a Wikipedia page. That's how unknown this guy is. <laughs> you can't even yeah, click on if him. If you're not on Wikipedia, you're not, you're <laughs> not You know stuff. you haven't made it if you don't have yeah. a Wikipedia, Wikipedia page. Yeah, um, no idea who he is, actually. Neither of those guys, Borg or Kaleides. Um, he s- he Kaleides, sounds, gr- he sounds like Greek. Yeah, he sounds Greek. Yeah. He sounds he's like he's Greek got an God. STD. Like he, uh, he sounds <laughs> like he is an STD. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Oh, he's the Greek oh, assassin. He's the Greek, God he's God you're a Greek assassin. You've got, you've got, you've got Kaleides. Ah, oh, no! <laughs> I tap out. Um, okay, and, and Ray Bork. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Taz Ray Mexican. Ray Bork? Uh, Taz Mexican. Is he from Tasmania or Seven what? The Taz Mexican devil. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's Taz Mexican. It's so he's, half <laughs> <laughs> he's half wow. half Australian, half Mexican. You I guys guess? been to Taz Mexico? Pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> he's f- so he's from Albuquerque, New Mexico. That's the where he comes out of the Taz Mexican. <laughs> Albuquerque is bad. Um, you can tell he failed his drug test. Yeah. <laughs> Albuquerque <laughs> is Jackson. That's a bad <laughs> nickname. <laughs> well, this is a fucking. He's a. F- uh, let's move on to the next fight because yeah. I have nothing. I have nothing to say in the in regards to this preview. Okay. Uh, have you got the card in front of you? Dan Kelly versus Patrick Walsh. Patrick Walsh yet again also no Wikipedia, Wikipedia page. page. Yeah. Uh, Dan uh, Kelly is an old school Aussie MMA fighter. Um, shout out to Ben Kelleher, uh, former Kiwi boy made of Ethian Mines. That's over there. He's actually fought Dan Kelly in the past as well. Uh, He's Dan a judo Kelly. guy, yeah? Yeah, judo. Uh, also was hey a tough, know. tough oh. house um, guy. Yeah, good fighter. Good fighter um, for sure. And you, do you know anything about this Patrick Walsh guy? I do not know anything about. He this sounds Patrick like he's been guy. in a movie. He's got a very movie star like name, Patrick <laughs> Walsh. Patrick Walsh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Starring Patrick Walsh. Okay. Uh, moving it's up the card, there we got Neil Magny. Neil Magny's a good fighter. Um, he's definitely experienced. I think he's f- he's won five in twelve months. Okay. Or four in twelve months. And uh, Kiichi Kunimoto is um, he, he's a good fighter. As well, he just stole my thunder. I was about to ask him about Kichi Kichi Kunimoto. What's had the, what's had the, the Wikipedia page Str- open and everything. I, I don't know what the stress what the fuck nickname is. The is the stressor? He's from the same hometown as um, Sexy Armor. You know, oh, uh, they yeah, they look like brothers actually. Well, that's racist, but yeah, <laughs> 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 they all look alike. <laughs> <laughs> Should they all look the same? <laughs> uh, uh, next fight is a good one. Max I just Holloway. just just I ju- sorry, just just quickly though. Um, I'm just looking at, 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 at Kunimoto. Kunimoto is like on a major tear at the yeah, moment. He's yeah, like won right. his last seven, seven fights. Yeah. Wow. He won. Um, his last fight was uh, on the Hunt versus Nelson card, I believe. Yeah, he beat Richard. Uh, b- Rich yeah, Richard Walsh. Another Aussie, decision. Richie Walsh. Okay. Uh, all right. He, yeah, but is he a threat to uh, in his division? Well, I don't know. That's debatable. Yep. Oh Dodge yeah. that question. <laughs> 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 good, good answer. <laughs> so it's debatable. I love it. That's really, that's really good. Did you enjoy your mother's cooking? That's debatable. <laughs> Max Holloway versus Cole Miller. Yeah, yeah. Hawaii. Max yeah, versus yeah, Holloway. Yeah. He's a uh, he's um he was touted as the next big thing. Then he lost to Conor McGregor, I believe. But um he's he's coming working his way back up. He's a huge prospect. He looks rough in his Wikipedia picture. Not gonna lie. 
Looks like he's just been beaten up. <laughs> oh, really? Does that mean that he's rough or he just got given a hiding? Yeah, it looks like he's not given a hiding. You look a bit rough. Tidy yourself uh, up. Yeah. And because he came off a win versus um, Sam Cecilia. Yeah. Um, who was who fought the other week and he won uh, against my um, my pick, which I said Sam Cecilia had never impressed me. And then he impressed me. That's right. So, so maybe I should say that about more fighters that I like. <laughs> Maybe maybe you should. Oh, he's fighting Cole Miller. Cole Miller, Magneto. ex Tough House. <laughs> I think it says Magrino. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh, it does too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is a Magrino? Maybe it's the Portuguese word for margarine. <laughs> oh wow. It means skinny. It says it right there. Oh, right. His nickname <laughs> is Magrino, yeah. which means skinny in Portuguese. Yeah. Shout out to our Portuguese yes. Indian oh friend Richard. Oh. He's six foot yeah. one and sixty kgs. It's and 66 kg. Yeah, so he's, uh, he's, pretty built, lean. he's built like Dan Dan Hooker. <laughs> he's Shout out to the hangman. He's built like me, actually. He's like, oh, yeah. no, I'm not like that at all. Sorry, I added my one little bit. <laughs> and, of course, the main event for UFC Fight Night is Benson Henderson, my man, taking on Brandon Thatch. You like Endo? I like Endo. I yeah. don't think he's going to win this one, but I like Endo. You don't think he's going to win this? No, I think it's going to be a tough one for him. Yeah, definitely. Brandon Thatch is no joke. Brand, Brandon Thatch is no joke. And he's also like... If you think size wise, it's gonna be a really tough one. Like, Brett, like, so, so, wow. uh, what? Look, carry on. Size I was saying wow at the, at the I differences think he just let out a little wow. wow. <laughs> but like a wow. Because Benson Henderson is coming up mm. to welterweight, isn't he, for this yeah, fight? Yeah, he's five foot nine. Now the guy's six he's, uh, or just, something. just taking this fight on short notice. And Benson Henderson is a talented fighter. Um, he, he was another fight who really thought that he probably should have uh, beaten... Um, Cerrone? Yeah, Cerrone, Cowboy that Cerrone. That is, yeah. um, that's a good argument there, I think. Yeah, I, th- I, I, I was quite surprised that Cerrone won the fight because yeah. I thought um, that Benson Henderson definitely looked like he had a little bit more control out there yeah. and, and also um, notable strikes as well, I thought. I thought he landed yeah. a lot more. Cowboy so. looked just off that day. But Cowboy, obviously, yet again, took the fight at such yep. short notice as well. Same thing. And I think it was like a little bit of one-upsmanship maybe. Yeah, it seems like that, eh? A bit of bravado coming into Benson play. Henderson's like taking another fight I'm yeah. sure nice, but going up a division. Yeah, that's yeah. right. So, yeah. And so H- Henderson's lo- lost his last three fights now? Three fights slide, is it? He's lost yeah. his last two. 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 He's, he's lost three of the last five. Right. Uh, okay, yeah. So he lost to Anthony Pettis back in at UFC 164. Armbar. Then he beat Josh Thompson. Yep. Um, split decision. Um, he beat um, uh, Kabilov. Yeah. Yeah. Really like a choke. Up. Yeah, and then, he did and then he lost um, to Angelos. Rafael Dos Angeles RDA. by the KO, yeah, and Donald Cerrone, of course, via a decision. So mm. um, he he's on a couple of off, but but Benson Henderson's always one of those guys that comes back from losing like mega strong, um, and he doesn't have to cut well as much. You know, he probably walks around at like one ninety sort of thing, one eighty. So this is a good fight for him to take. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. so if he does a really good one, do you think that he should stay? I don't think that's his plan. Um, he's he's a bit undersized because look, Brandon Thatch is already you know five inches taller than him. So and Brandon Thatch is like on a ten win win streak at the moment. Yeah. So if you if you include one er- loss, eh? yeah, he's got one. He's got he's eleven and one in his sure. career, which he and it was a second fi- fight in strike force, which he lost. Yeah. Um, but in the UFC, he's undefeated in UFC. Not to mention uh, he's fought in instinct fighting. Um, so he's he's been a, he, like he has no like look at this strikes as well and he has, a, he, has, he, has a, he has a round one knockout machine he, oh, wow. he he's got an excellent ground game as well so yeah. submission wise he's very very strong yeah. and he's landing eight significant strikes a minute which doesn't sound like a lot but that's a lot you know when they're throwing you know twenty five strikes to land eight significant ones is solid he also hasn't fought for like fourteen months on that look at uh, Wikipedia according so that's uh, talking about ring rust before, that's quite a while yeah. out of the ring yeah. again. Yeah, definitely. And then well you've got Bendo, who's on the other side of the coin, who's just come off a fight. Yeah. Mm. So what does what does Henderson need to do to to, to beat Brennan Thatch? Because it's going to be a it's it's a big ask for him at the moment. Probably weather the storm for the first five minutes and then um, see what sort of holes present themselves. Bendo is a very willing striker, but yeah. um, his ground game is probably his strength against someone like Brandon Thatch. Mm, true. You look like you're about to say something. I right? was. I was going to say, uh, Thatch, with his fights, <laughs> every... <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I don't know who he is. I'm going to lie. He has like four sub one minute... Was it five? Four, five we'll sub minute... We've already sub co- one uh, minute Dan, Dan has recovered. We've, we've, already, we've already covered that. Oh, anyway. just saying <laughs> Thanks <again>. very much. <laughs> hey, uh, Are these headphones working? Yeah, yeah, let me just check. Uh, but I'm happy. Um, Carlos Conda is looking at coming back in May, hopefully. Awesome. Oh, really? Yeah, that's awesome. Man. Oh, that's good news. Mitchell Born Killer back in the house, yeah, yeah. man. So uh, what's the plan for Carlos? They, they haven't got a oh day. Yeah. No, no um, scheduled fight. Come back and fight Nick. <laughs> yeah. Well, 
but um, he's he's an exciting fighter to watch. Yeah, great striker. I'd so like to see him get that that fight against Tyron Woodley back. Yeah, but uh, Woodley's probably out, out of his sort of tier tier currently. Woodley's you know right at the top. And his last fight, so he lost to Tyron Woodley, and Tyron Woodley obviously had. A but that like was a bit. It should have been no contested, but it, you know. Why is that? Because he got an injury in the second. Okay. Yeah, he so blew he his, knee. his knee. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. So it should. It's sh- like for me that that was really a no contest. But um, yeah, the UFC doesn't do no contests willingly. Oh, I, I sh- yeah, I can imagine that. Just fail the drug test. That's all you have to yeah. do. <laughs> Go see Anderson at the back. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Carlos Condon's getting on in age a little yeah, bit yeah, now. Right. His um, window is sort of starting to possibly starting to close. And you're looking at a guy who's, I mean, even look at his record's pretty impressive. It's 29 and 8. He's a but in the striker. last four fights, he's lost three of them. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's against some of the top, top fighters. Oh, man, GSP, Johnny GSP. Hendricks. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's <laughs> fucking impressive. <laughs> like Tyron Woodley. Like yeah. uh, Tyron Woodley, up until the last 12 months, though, has been, yeah. like, was pretty mid cardish you know, and now yeah. it's starting just to be a Yeah, ma- but a in his last fight, he looked really boring against um, Gus. Yeah, he... he it was actually a really that shit was a fight. Boring fight, eh? And, and the crowd was booing. Yeah, a lot of booing. A lot, of, yeah. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sold on him, mate. The, the chosen one is that what he calls himself? Is it? Yeah, yeah. So, I, uh, yeah. Hopefully, Connor comes back and uh, kicks, just drops him with a flying knee. He's got. Uh, he you would make awesome the Woodley fight. Knee. You would like. You would make his first fight back against T Wood. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I, I think that for him to to kind of get that. I'm not even going to try and pronounce his middle name. Tyron Woodley's fu- middle name is a... LaKent? <laughs> yeah. What kind of fucking middle name is that? You're a LaKent. LaKent? Itty the LaKent. You can tell his parents were trying to be fancy, eh? <laughs> hey, let's give him a fancy middle name. His name might be LaFonda. LaQuisha. 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 In the word, yeah, yeah, yeah. LaKent. So, yeah. okay, it's the l- it's Sport and Ball Sunday afternoon. We are, str- I tell you, we're sitting here and we are in tears because there is no UFC today to watch. And it's disappointing. We're still down in the tap room. 74 Wyndham Street in the city. It is the new home of UFC here in Auckland City. If you want to watch some good UFC, you come on down here and check it out. We're going to be talking some more stuff in just a little bit while. We're going to talk some boxing as well. We're going to talk Mayweather and Pacquiao. We're going to talk about Brown Butter Bean and you some New Zealand Bill. stuff. Sonny Bill's fight that he had last week and all of that right here. We hope you're having a good afternoon. Remember, if you want to watch UFC, we are the place to do it. So come on down here. 74 Wyndham Street, the ultimate sporting hub. www.drinkfromthetap.co.nz It is small and bold. We brought you down here by the tap room, 74 Wyndham Street. Red Scarf, what are you laughing at? Yeah, so I, I asked Nate, I was like, what, what size shoes do you wear? And he tells me, uh, anywhere between 9 and 12. <laughs> <laughs> What's so weird about that? <laughs> I have odd shaped so feet. <laughs> they say you can tell a lot about a man um, by the way that he keeps his feet, where or not he looks after him. JB, show us your feet. I'm not showing you my feet, bro. You got What's wrong with your feet? feet? What's wrong with your you feet? You've got a weird thing for feet. That's what's wrong yeah, with I'm you showing you Yeah, I'm concerned how much you want to see our feet. We're to the sports section, not the show feet section. <laughs> no, no, no. But do you, think it's week, okay, so feet right, so do you think it's weird? Okay, Do you think it's weird that I like to look at feet? Yes. But, <laughs> but it's... <laughs> Whoa! Shut up, Mr. 9 to 12. It's not a, it's, it's not a <laughs> sexual... Not the fucking time. It's not a sexual <laughs> fetish. Did, uh, would you ever get turned on by licking, like licking and sucking oh on a girl's toes? No, no. Hell no. Yeah. No, 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 no. Actually, this is probably a good opportunity right now to bring in uh, a, a friend of ours. This is, this is. Can we put your microphone over to Erica, please? Here we go. Pass it on over. She's gonna be live. Yeah, we know you didn't come in to do this. <laughs> Talk right into the microphone so we can hear you. Hello. Tell, hello. Tell us your name. Erica. Erica, <laughs> do you think it's weird when guys are like really into feet? I just met someone today who is <laughs> really into feet. Do you think it's weird? Just a little bit. Okay, all right. So if you were like to meet a guy and the guy had like really ugly feet though, would that like be like a, Ugh. is that like a, Ugh. is that a turn off? Is that a turn off? Yeah, but I guess I have like a fetish with hands. So if mm. a guy has nice hands. What constitutes nice hands? Tum- <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's add your nail clippers Nate, up. Nate put, your, put your hands up there for Erica. <laughs> put your hands up there for Eric. No, no, on there, like, on there, there we go, there we go. Show Eric your hands. I like manly hands. You like manly hands? <laughs> <laughs> Is that big hands? Nate, 
He like pulls his hands away straight away. Like, oh. I like manly hands. Nate puts his little schoolboy hands. Back. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know has you know who has surprisingly quite nice hands? Who? Is Etty. You I like Etty's features. You like his extremities. Uh, hey. I'm fucking thinking he's a sexy man. So it's his feet, there nice hands. Yeah, that's nice right. Hands, Big I have hands. Nice feet. Yeah. Are you double jointed? Yes, I am. A lot of Polynesians are double jointed. I'm, I'm not double jointed at all. Nah, not Maldives. Nah. Uh, hey, we, d- we had no need for it. Yeah, we're, right. we're warriors. We already had joints. <laughs> <laughs> we already had <laughs> joints. <laughs> 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 okay. Anyway, Erica, tell us, do you ever watch any UFC? Um, sometimes, not a lot of it. Now, you're of, you're of Filipino descent. Okay. Half, yes. Half Filipino. Manny Pacquiao. You know who Manny Pacquiao is? Of course. Of course. Everyone knows. Is Manny Pacquiao going to be able to beat Floyd Mayweather when they have their big once-in-a-lifetime fight? Yep, because I'm s- ripping, ripping the fellows. Get rip, rip, rip. I like yeah. it. I rip it. Get him. Good does, stuff. Does Manny Pacquiao, um, does he have a few records up? Or, or does he just do, like, covers? Do, doesn't he sing? Sing? Does he sing? Just because he's Filipino, he? yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. Every Filipino <laughs> family <laughs> I'm sure Manny Pacquiao did a concert. I think he's Jackie Chan. Do you know he had Jackie Chan? Do you know he had Jackie I'm f- I'm I'm like jumping on well my resource right now. If he, he I'm w- sure if he's he does Filipino, karaoke. Filipino, he definitely owns a magic mic or a karaoke system of some sort. Because us <laughs> Wow. Like to yeah. Sing. See, there so you go. In, in, in the Philippines, Philippines are there oh karaoke gosh. bars everywhere? Oh, everywhere. Really? Every family has one. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Yes. Pac-Man oh singing wow. "Let It Go." <laughs> <laughs> he sings "Let It Go." The Frozen. Wow. He froze "Let It Go." Yes. Yeah, so there you go. Stand by. You learn today. Stand <laughs> by. I have to. I. This, this is something that is too good because we're talking about Manny Pacquiao and then like right now we're going to talk about him. Him and Floyd Mayweather are going to get together and have a fight here. But Manny Pacquiao, let's what, what, let's let it grow. Yeah. Let it go. I let, let it go. go. <laughs> let it go. <laughs> <laughs> Going oh back to your roots. <laughs> 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 let it grow. <laughs> let it grow. Yeah, let it grow. Oh my gosh. Okay, I here we go. Here we go. I've seen this movie. You've not seen Let It uh, Frozen? No. Let it <laughs> I haven't oh. seen Let It Grow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Okay, so are you guys. Fuck, that sounds, here we go, here we go. <laughs> that sounds yeah, like exactly what it's I believe. That we are going to start with the <laughs> song from Frozen. That's not many <laughs> Pacquiao. Yeah. It's, it's Drake. Drake. It's Drake. Sometimes. <laughs> Is he pretending to be money? Money? Oh, I'm going to punch Drake in the I'll throat. What's up with his hair? Fuck Drake for, for the rest of my life, you know? That <laughs> 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 Surely this doesn't actually happen. Oh, what happened to the internet? Drake is such a piece of shit. I have to do different things that make me happy, so... Yeah. yeah. I oh like to sing. The snow glows white on the mountain tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Not a so is it Drake seen. singing it, Let It Go? What? <laughs> yeah, it's Drake as Manny Pacquiao singing Let It Go. Oh, damn this internet. What's happened all of a sudden? Pay uh, your bills. Pay your bills. <laughs> pay the bills. <laughs> Russell Diaz, owner of the tap room, pay the bills. sort him out with yeah. a good plan, then, she. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you'd probably <laughs> be able to get something decent going. <laughs> okay, all right, there. So Manny Pacquiao, take it on Floyd Mayweather. Oh, here we go. Literally, it's just to stay out of man's way. Oh no. I, got, I gotta watch this. I'm don't sorry. Let I'm them in. In. Don't let them see. Be the good girl you always okay, have so to be. Conceal, don't feel. Don't let them know. Okay, I just yeah. get but into the studio. He sounds like a Filipino. <laughs> like like a Filipino go, guy. Have you ever seen creepy small Filipino guy? Let it go. Let it go. Ah. Damn, exactly. damn the refresh oh, rate. Right. <laughs> I don't know. On the mountain tonight, not a footprint to wow, be seen. Wow, he's doing pretty well. Yeah. My job's <laughs> producer. Literally, it's just to stay out of Manny's way. <laughs> that's the, that's the Brady Dad, eh? Don't let them in. Don't let them see. Be the good girl <laughs> you always have to be. Can't see, <laughs> don't feel. Don't let them know. So is that bullshit? Yeah, is Manny Pacquiao not an actual singer? No, nah, he's done some concerts. I, I'm, I swear he has. I, I have to see this because... Are you sure you can't tell the difference between Drake and Pac-Man? <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. Uh, surely we would have seen something by now. You can't tell me they don't have it. Oh, never mind. Anyway, Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather. It looks like the deal's going to go ahead. I, I, like I, think, I think Floyd just sort of delaying a little bit to try and grab as much money and, ma- and create as much sort of anticipation about the build-up and the, and the, 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 um, the announcement, I think, as possible. Yeah. yeah. Well, I thought they would have announced it at Super Bowl. 
that would have been a good time to. Mm. That would have been pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. would have been, been good to do. Imagine that, Manny Pacquiao and Katy Perry. I kissed a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Will it sound like what we just listened to? <laughs> yeah. And Missy Elliott comes out. That would be fucking awesome. And then Drake comes out as Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> and then it's like a mirror of two people. Or <laughs> and then like Pacquiao knocks him out. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah. wouldn't, you just, wouldn't you just love to see Drake just get knocked out? I would love nothing more than see Drake get knocked out. Team oh Diddy. Yeah. Anyways. Anyway, so what do you think is going to happen? Because I, I think De La Hoya just recently came out and just said, you know, the 60-40 split was a fair deal. It looks like that they've um, done the f- the um, uh, the television rights. They've worked out a deal between HBO and Showtime. Um which is going to which going to that was one of the major that was the, that was one of the major holdups obviously with it so JB break it down what's going to happen well um, you know if the fight had happened five years ago it would have been completely different um, but I w- you know I would say um, Floyd's technique is probably going to keep Manny out of range on this one um, even though I'd love to see Manny just KO him like nothing Erica before you leave us yes one question <laughs> oh god. King. <laughs> 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 Thank you for coming in. Been lovely to have you here. Thanks for having me. Are we going to be able to work on Nate, the white guy? Are we going to be able to make him a female devouring machine? A magnet. I can be his trainer. W- oh, yeah, please. We need a montage. I can be a mentor. Please, please right. help him. We, we need a montage for this. We need help. We need montages. We need different camera angles, different outfits, all sorts yeah, of things. Yeah, I was just, I was going to say shopping. Okay, let's break this down really quickly. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Since we're on the fly this afternoon and there is no UFC event for us to break down and cover. <laughs> Nate, the white guy, <laughs> what does he need? Tell us what he needs. Um, just from an just observing. Stand up, stand up. <laughs> please stand, stand up. up. Doing the head-to-toe checkout. Uh, yeah. yeah. Twirl. It was twirl. It was twirl. Pirouette. Well, I see he's got a basic haircut going on at the moment. <laughs> good, good physique. Yeah, very convenient haircut. Um, he does his own hair. Uh, there you go. Yeah, I can tell. So does Russell. <laughs> Um, no, he's not not too shabby. If oh. he's sort of leaning towards those Tahitian girls, I'm sure we don't need too much work. Needed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. So what do we do? We, we need to take him shopping. What does he need? What what sort of styles? Does, what, like, what does he need to be wearing? Well, because ones? he is, you know, white boy. <laughs> <We need laughs> a backwards New York Yankees cap. We need because he is a white boy with an outstanding credit history. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think maybe a fade wouldn't be too too bad if he oh grows it out just oh. a little. You know, just completely taking his look at the moment oppositely. Do you reckon he goes with that um that that Macklemore? Yeah, that well. Yeah, and you know the the chinos look with some like you know nice Nikes. Uh, right. He's got a Nike shirt on already. N- Did he just say he didn't know what chinos were? Oh you know what chinos? Like okay, these aren't chinos, but they're sort of like chinos. Like at the bottom of them, they got like elastic. Or you can roll them. You do you the roll pin them. roll? Yeah, you know, do you know how to do the pin roll? Uh, okay, no, I used to do it all the time back in the day. Oh I got gosh. you. Yeah, I, I, I'm I quite a good dancer. I got you on the <laughs> pin roll, Nate. <laughs> You're what? I'm a t-shirt and shorts kind of guy. Or we can just yeah. go this way and say that there will be someone out there who will accept him oh for wow. his Oh, wow. Are you going the down this route is. already? The generic. Like the laziest person in the world minute. when it comes to how I look. I'm just like, what's on top of my drawer? And what doesn't need to like? We just got to get effort. some new stuff on top of you. I don't want to have to do my hair. <laughs> I don't want to have to like put an outfit together. Well, it's not a wake up and leave. We could take you out for the day, and you come back, and you have a new drawer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Get you some Pantone <laughs> colours. He's been working a lot, so he's got lots of money put away. Yeah, so you oh, could do a bit of shopping. Women love a ball. Okay, wait. Well so, okay, so if if you were to take someone out on a date, where would you take them for their first date? Do we need some context here? Like, <laughs> describe this girl. Okay, let me describe her. African American. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, all right, sorry, sorry. Okay. Nice girl, nice girl. <laughs> Good Kiwi, wholesome girl. Um, probably sit with no more than four guys. This wow, year. she is wholesome. Oh, uh, <laughs> that is wholesome, bro. Um, yeah. you marry that girl, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Grew up to be from Nelson or something. <laughs> <laughs> There's only five eligible He's students. He's almost in the town. from Nelson. Yeah, there, there you go. Grew I'm halfway there. Grew up on the <laughs> North Shore. Yeah, what's up? Uh, works as a receptionist um, slash um, studying at night school to become a drama, an actor. So. That's she's going to become a drama. She's an actor. She's going to become a drama. She's a dude. <laughs> 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 Fuck you guys. <laughs> Very quickly, where do you take her out is the question from Miss Erica. I have no idea. Wow. 
Where yeah. should he take yeah. her out? Tell him. Um. Night markets, bro. <laughs> Night markets. See what she likes to eat. It's like. Well. He needs an option. You uh, don't oh want to wow. take her somewhere. Are you taking the hooker? Too oh. flash. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to take her somewhere too flash for the first date because you still want to get to know her. Word. Yeah. So I'm food court? thinking. Yeah. Ponsonby like food court. To be honest, if someone was like, "Oh, you want to go Ponsonby food court or Merck's?" Merck's. Like yeah. you know, after or before like an activity of yeah, some yeah. sort. A sexual activity? N- I was going to say non-sexual activity. <laughs> I mean, what you guys do after the date, that's yeah. d- that's not up to yeah. me. and not. You How's know, that for expectation? <laughs> we're going on a date and we're going to have sex first. <laughs> <you know? laughs> and then you're going to make me a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Nate's like, I, but I just have a wanker and then go Mercs. <laughs> <laughs> it's cheaper. Well, that's yeah. what happens if all else fails. <laughs> oh. Save that one for the end of the night. Yeah. yeah. Fails. Exhaust all your yeah. other options and then. Erica, you've got you've got your, you've got your hands full. This one, last question. Does he have no size? Do a little flutter. Well, I'm. Oh wow! <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> he he looks like a panda. Panda. Oh, no, he looks Girls like a do like you know the yeah. blue eyes, so you know. Yeah. The old blue Just eyes. Just so you know, you've got the wrong combo. skin tone, I think, for Erica. So <laughs> don't worry. You're not you're not you're not going to get lost in that one. Erica, thank you very much for joining us. You're welcome. <sighs> you can go off. Are you guys, are you and Russell, going flower shopping. Flower shopping. That's all. Oh, is that what you do on a Sunday? You normally yeah. you go do yeah. Oh. Oh uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks a lot, Erica. Good You're having welcome. you along. We're down the tap room, sport and ball. We've gone off MMA like and this <laughs> is just <laughs> a wee <laughs> wee <laughs> like a detour in a completely different direction. We've got two more minutes to go. Very yeah. quickly, yo, Sonny Bill Williams fight last week. Man, Sonny looked like he was fighting a, a fucking truck driver, eh? <laughs> 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 no, he looked like he was fighting Shit. the truck. Yeah. <laughs> is what he looked like that he was doing. I like I seriously looked at it and I thought, what a fucking joke. Like yeah. you know, Sonny is an awesome athlete. There's no denying you know, he's he's good. But he if you're gonna boxer. put him up He hasn't fought anyone worth fighting. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like if you put him up against And when he did fight like someone that, like Botha, they called the fight around early. Yeah, it's kind yeah. of He's done nothing so far to well boost his boxing credentials. That's not all? Sonny's fault. That would be no. Sonny's management. But Sonny's not a full-time fighter. No, yeah. he's not. You know? And so wh- what What the? Uh, what I don't know, like, and Dave, I'm with you 100%, but what do people expect? Do they expect them to throw him in there with Joseph Parker? Is that what they want? I, is that I just don't understand how he was the champion if yeah. he's not a boxer. Well, he was champion for a belt that wasn't actively been um sanctioned yeah it's uh, not contended well, yeah, for yeah there was no one it was a, it was a, it was a, it was a vacant title, was a vacant title, title yeah title right right no one was fighting for it hasn't right. been fought for for such a long and time and the guy that uh the like the reason the title was vacant the guy that i think he was in jail i th- think was the reason the title was vacant yeah he said he would never fight sunny because he wouldn't want to hurt him well yeah that's, that's, that's what i said as well he got done on dr- it was um judge charges wasn't yeah, it something like I that think so yeah um but the guy that, that Sonny Bill did fight, yeah, he was a big unit and made me feel a little bit better about myself physically. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I, was I was watching I, I had abs when I saw I was watching him thinking, I'm a good looking man. <laughs> yeah. you know? I felt good with my life. I was like, yeah. But they they reckon he's n- he's he's no joke as a fighter though. He's, he's no joke. He's past his prime though. Like he's, he's only thirty one. <laughs> yeah, but look, if you look at his <laughs> thirty one <laughs> tons. If you look at <laughs> if you look at his record, he's like he had Huge section of winning, but his last oh 10 yes, fights huge. has been pretty bad. Like, he's been pretty average. His fight so, his fight record here, if I'm where we were looking at, is 55, 11, and 5. 55 fights? Fif- 11, 11 burgers. <laughs> 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 like, let's be honest. No, 55 we wins. He looked fat and overweight. Yeah. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. And, like, n- no matter how decorated of a fighter he may be. No. It, it w- he was a complete joke to the to real boxers. I think what would be smart is to see Sonny Bill fight the Butterbing, the Islander Butterbing, not oh. the. I was going to say, is he still <laughs> like alive? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Actually, is he still alive? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. Yes, Butterbean, I think Butterbean is still alive, but Brown Butterbean definitely is still alive, and he is on a tear at the moment. Yeah, but he's look, he's looking good. But the guy, the guy, Brown Talk Butterbean, he's, he's a he's a corporate fighter. So I mean, you put him in the ring there with, um, well, a, who a, a else is he really going to fight? Seasoned Super heavyweight. There must be other super heavyweights that have fought like a lot more than. I mean, he's fighting. He's going to say he's fighting Finau Maka, yeah, the former former professional rugby player, captain yeah. of Tonga, oh Bro- okay. brother of brother of All Black Isatola Maka. Ah. So he's he's you know so that's the next fight. So and, w- and where's that fight at? Is that a Duco big event? Yeah, it's a Duco event. So yeah. so Butterbean will win if, as long as it goes the distance of yeah. three rounds. <laughs> 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 uh, I'd like to see Sunny fight someone like a 
a guy in his early mid twenties who's kind of an up and coming prospect, sure. rather than someone like a journeyman who's past their prime, someone that's coming into it. I'd like, like to see fight. What skill like level do you think? Like Olympic Olympic boxing level? Yeah, so someone who's like on on the radar. Junior of Puppy would be a good fight. Yeah. Of a potential yeah, contender Paul one Quarry day as well. Junior Putty would be a good fight, you know. <laughs> Anyone that's not old and fat would be a good fight. <laughs> like, let's be honest. Yeah. All his fights have been like old right guys here, who are well past their prime. Do you do you think Will Quarry could go with, with Sonny Bill? I I think it would be a good fight. Well, well, well Will Quarry is a top ten New Zealand fighter. Yeah, but I've seen. Doesn't Will Quarry like lost his last two or three or something like that? Yeah, he lost to he lost Cle- on the Cleanan's Cleanan's son. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I think he lost to. Oh god, he lost to someone else. Because um, like my, my 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 point of view is, unless you're winning those sorts of fights, yeah. you don't really even. Ca- I mean, unless you're a top three or top four in in New Zealand in those sorts of divisions, you're sort of sort of out of out of the the, the range. I think of taking even taking on a guy like Sonny Bull. Like you look at Sonny Bull as an all round athlete, he is phenomenal, and I think that's what makes him. Um, He's got he's got that extra little thing. He's, he's a gamer. He's yeah. got that extra thing inside of him, which makes him better than other people. Okay. Does it make? It's that whole men that men aren't created equal. Guys yeah. like Michael Jordan, guys like Sonny Bill Williams in this case, guys like Iron Mike Tyson or Muhammad Ali are GSP. created. Uh, yeah, these guys are created as as better athletes, better men than everybody else. And you think Sonny Bill can transpose that to all all sports? He, he I, I think Sonny Bill has shown enough mouse in the boxing ring. I I think to to be able to say that I think if you're going to take a guy who is a um, uh, oh a a boxer a fighter here in New Zealand maybe not maybe like it'd be a good fight Junior Putty would be a good fight I think Junior Putty would take him but that next tier level down I think he's good enough to stand with them and probably beat them based purely on his on his intellect and his s- uh, physical ability. But even watching his even watching his last. Last fight. I haven't seen all of Sonny's fights. The both the fights showed he me he's heaps. he's not a good. You don't like. You don't think he fought well. He's got no power. It doesn't seem like. No, 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 he was going to get knocked out in that last round either. for me. But he looked alright in the first five rounds. He he looked really good. He really yeah, worked. Yeah, he worked the body well. He got around. But anyone then he, he started getting dominated by Francois Botha. Francois Botha fought for the world heavyweight title. Yeah, yeah. Even at forty, even at forty, he's not at that level now. But doesn't matter. He still got. He still got what it is up here that made him a world heavyweight champion fighter. It's like if I'm if I'm going to jump in the ring now with uh, say. Yeah, but if you jump in the ring with Mike Tyson, you know, (coughs) I still think Mike would win. (laughs) Yeah, obviously. (laughs) (laughs) But you know, but if you jump in the ring now with Mike Tyson, it doesn't make. Do you think Sonny Bill Williams would jump in the ring with Mike Tyson and be able to spar with Mike Tyson? No. I I think anyone could. Yeah. Huh? I think Mike has had too many blows to the head to really be boxing anymore. But, um, I but just do you think he could still bang? Uh, Mike Tyson can still bang. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Mike Tyson is a, a street fight. Yeah. He's, he's a born good. fighter. He's yeah. a natural street fighter. fighter. You know. So, g- like going back to both, of like you, you reckon Sonny Bill is like up in that top echelon? No, no, not no. A, not at all. Not, but what, not I'm, what I'm boxing, saying, what I'm saying is, athletics. I'm comparing him to a guy like Will Quarry. And don't you mind, yeah, like, yeah. like I, I sort of know Will from. Um, Working over the years in the scene and that sort of thing, mm-hmm. and I've watched and I watch Will fight. I just don't think Will is even maybe at Sunny Bill level. I think I think Sunny needs to and beat someone like Will, so then people can go, "You're a legitimate." Do you think Will Quarry? Do you think Will, Do you think Will would have been able to beat that guy that Sunny Bill fought on the weekend? I think anyone could have beaten that. You that really, guy. you really think so? That guy, the guy that Sunny Bill fought. You're, t- you're telling me a guy who's fought Alex de Ustinov. It doesn't matter who he has does fought. Doesn't matter. In Mike the actual ring, yeah, he was fighting an overweight man. So this guy's got who 55 had titties hanging, 55 big stomach. What about Butterbean? What about Butterbean? What about he's, he's the original Butterbean? The original but Butterbean. But he had knockout power. But you put. It's my point though. This guy yeah, here, so he, he was th- knocking out people. All right. Okay. See, but the the fighter that is Will Quarry a top three fighter and 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 I'd, I'd say, heavyweight fighter. I'd say fighting. he's uh, top ten, but I'm not too sure about top three. Okay, because as far as, as like my 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 opinion means nothing in the realms of of, of combat. Yeah. But in New Zealand, when you're such a small pull, if you're yeah. not in that top three or four or five, mm-hmm. you don't matter. Do you not okay. think Sunny Bill, like for me, watching Sunny Bill, and obviously he's got his rugby career. Do you not think he's terrified of losing and will never actually fight someone that will really challenge him? Because if, if he gets knocked out, it can put him out of rugby. It's like his whole months. image. Yeah. Sonny yeah. Bill doesn't give a shit about losing. 
The people who give a shit about losing are the people who are investing money in him fighting and putting him out there. Ah. Those are the people. Like I think this. he does. Those, those are the, those are the people that really care about losing. It's guys like freaking um, the ones that make a lot the of the guys money. that are making. Sonny Boy Williams is not making hundreds of thousands of dollars doing these fights. He's doing them as part of his preparation for rugby. It's doing it as something to challenge himself in a different area. Mm. I don't. I think if he lost, he would accept that he lost and move on to the next one. I think yeah. the, the fame. Thing. There's definitely a, a whole, a huge amount of fame in there as well, though. But you don't. You don't honestly think Sonny Bill's fighting for the arrogance of celebrity. Oh no no no! no. He's I doing it to challenge himself. Sonny Bill's yeah, always yeah, struck definitely. me as someone who's. Very interested in making a lot of money and losing a fight. Why do you figure that? I want to know this because for, he's for me, he's <laughs> gone. He's gone from earning um, guaranteed seven, eight hundred thousand dollars a year to earning a quarter of that just to wear an all black jersey. Yeah, but do you not think that's to set up him going to a World Cup and then going to France or something? No, he's he's already been to France. He's already, been to he's already yeah. played in France. He's already played I just in Japan. Find the code chase he's changing thing. Has always struck me he as a potential to make more he money. Didn't, he didn't go to, uh, to get more money, though. He went bec- based off a promise to return to the NRL and play for a club one day once, it, once he was allowed to. That, that's why he did it. Mm. He, didn't go, he didn't go to play um, in France when he left. When he left, when he left the NRL, he went and played in... in uh, Toulon? In, in right. yeah, yeah, yeah. He pl- went and played in Toulon with, um, with under Tana Umanga. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. he didn't go for... Like he went like there's huge money, mm. but he didn't go for the money. He went because he wanted to challenge himself, and his dream was when he was a child to be an All Black, and things like that. Yeah. Okay. And let's be honest. In New Zealand, all these guys who are Kiwi Rugby League internationals, things like that, and love rugby league, let's be honest, they would be an All Black any day over being a Kiwi. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because being in New Zealand, being an All Black is the be all and end all in sport. Yeah. yeah. So Absolutely. Sonny Bill Williams is driven by being the best. He's not driven by being celebrity, otherwise he would be seen out more at these paparazzi red carpet events. Yeah. Instead, he, he drops the money in Sydney, he drops the lifestyle in Sydney that he would that he could have had, and came back to live in Hamilton, yeah, Hamilton, Hamilton yeah. you know, to to, 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 to to chase his dream of being a, a boxing champion, a, a two-time Rugby World Cup winning champion, a rugby league fucking champion, you're talking about a guy who was probably the greatest player at one stage. Like he was like the golden boot, like the top player in the game at one time. Mm. Yeah. This is about challenging himself as an athlete. It's not. He's not making money. The people who care about losing are his his manager. Um, is um, I'm going so blank right now. Um, in his corner, his corner man, f- uh, former fighter, Ma- uh, Mundine. Barry. Anthony Mundine. Yeah. Guys like Anthony Kevin Mundine. Barry as well. Kevin, yeah. You know these guys. These guys are worried. No, Kevin Barry doesn't care. Kevin Barry doesn't care about what happens with him. Isn't, Kevin, yeah, isn't Kevin Barry Kevin just Barry's with Joseph Parker. Yeah, yeah. Um, these, these are the people who care about what happens to Sonny Bill Williams. You know, and I and I believe, and I'm watching, and just and I want to quickly touch on the Joseph Parker stuff. Like, I like Joseph Parker. Joseph Parker is, is a fantastic fighter. He's got a big career. But compare him to those guys that fought for the WBC title six weeks ago. Joseph Parker, I don't, I don't, I, I don't think can can stand and bang. Stand and bang with those guys. What's I Joseph I Parker rank? Number oh, ten in the WBC. Okay. I think what Parker needs to do is actually situate and live somewhere in the states. He does. Yeah. He lives in Las Vegas. Absolutely. He lives in Las yeah, Vegas. He's based I out of Las he's Vegas. Still living in Pekaranga. No, no, they, they're based out of Las Vegas. He spends six months of the year in Las Vegas. D- but he needs to be there full time. Sure, full sure, sure. Time living there. Because Kevin, Kevin Barry lives in Las Vegas full time. Kevin Barry's lived in Las Vegas yeah, for the last two twenty years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with two, with two of his bloody beach house money. Yeah, you know. So ah. Uh, I, I think that um, yeah, Joseph Parker can definitely do wonders for New Zealand in terms of you know, boxing and everything, but I think he needs to f- full-time move over there and stay there and train. I mean, uh, that's like the Alex Leopai fight when uh, when he fought Kuchko. Everyone was like, yeah, he's going to do it. But in the scale of things, when you actually look at Al- Alex and hi- his fighting and where he was coming from. Alex Leopold never had a fighter's chance even. Yeah, no, no. He, he, he had no done. chance of ever beating Klitschko. No, n- none at all. But <coughs> the, the way they kind of hyped it up was that they almost made you believe that he was going to do it. But in seriousness, these guys, Klitschko has his own fucking gym. The only the only reason we were made to believe is because we live in this part of the world where the, where the patriotism got behind him. All, yeah. the, all the Samoans got behind him, all the Australians yeah. got behind him, and people were forced to believe it. There was n- at no stage that I ever looked at that fight and thought, man, Eli- Alex Leopold's bringing the title back to the Aussie. Yeah, He's yeah, bringing it back yeah. to Brisbane. He was never going to beat Le Klitschko. He yeah. never had a chance, you know? Um, and, I want, and I want Joseph Parker to do well. I do. But I can't get bought into this 
this media uproar that this country has. It's like the Stephen Adams thing. Yeah. Every time Stephen Adams does a block, it's like headlining news on, on TV Adams? One. Stephen Adams, the NBA p- NBA player from, oh, um, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, um, Valerie Adams' brother. The you brother, know, every yeah. time he does a block or, or gets a double double, which yeah. which let's be honest here, he's a center. He should be getting double doubles. We're we're, very, we're way too proud of our athletes. Like as soon as they that's have any mild, yeah, well, it's, it's awesome. What's the drawback of that? Yeah, yeah. The drawback. What's the downside? The, the, draw- the, draw- the drawback is it puts guys like Joseph Parker in a position mentally, and, and guys like Kevin Barry into a position where they're putting them up for fights that they that, that eventually like, or they're not taking them through the proper developmental. Let's, let's David Tua was a freak. Yeah, David Tua was different to Joseph Parker. He was too short. David Tua in his prime would would destroy Joseph Parker. Yeah. Okay. Not not Joseph Parker in his prime because we haven't seen Joseph Parker in his prime. But Joseph Parker now being rushed to like six fights a year or whatever deals to be able to get his ranking up there as quickly as possible so he can get into a position for a title tilt mm. is unfair on Joseph Parker. And part of the problem is the media here in New Zealand hype it up so much that by the time he gets there, he's going to get destroyed. Yeah, you but know? remember, like the New Zealand me- media used to never hype up anything to do with like Mark Hunt, Ray Seffold. These guys are massive stars. Yep. Kickboxing overseas. still hasn't, yep. kickboxing. hasn't but made yeah, that but link. You know, but where's the, b- the support there? Yeah, but the, uh, that, that's not the argument. The argument here is that you got a guy like Joseph Parker who's on the world stage. Yep, Mark yep. Hunt's on the world stage so and things like Mark that. And same with Ray Seffold right. and things yeah. guys like that. But boxing is always going to be seen as the purest form of combat sport. And it has been because it's been around as a sport for 200 years. It has been been the world heavyweight title in the 1960s, 1970s meant more than any other sporting title in the world. Yeah. When Muhammad Ali was fighting Sonny Liston for the World Heavyweight Championship, there was no other title that was anywhere as big in the world. Not yeah. the NFL, not the Super Bowl, not the NBA, the ABA at the time. Yeah. Nothing was bigger than boxing. And in the 80s when Mike Tyson was the champion, nothing was bigger than boxing. Yeah. Okay? So does that mean that moving forward, are MMA fighters from that's New Zealand n- that's not going the, to That's not the argument. The argument here is whether or not the, I- the media is hyping Joseph Parker up or hyping up the, um, the, 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 the furore around him mm. to put him into a position where he's going to get rushed through too quickly. I, I, I think he's going to be great. I, I, I don't but know. Even with the do you like think, the like this, do you think he's going to be a world heavyweight champion one day? Be honest. No. Okay. Do you think the media are making him out like he's going to be the next world heavyweight champion? I think the media should be backing. That's what they should. Tr- there that's is what a difference. There is a difference between being. We being need to. The, the okay. We need is someone the to me- believe in though. Is it the news? Is it the news media's job to report the facts, or is it the news media's job to hype up something so we can, so some other company within New Zealand can get better buy rates later on down the line? It'll be the brand that'll be hyping them up. News only reports what happens. The n- okay, so if Stephen they Stephen they Adams. They Stephen, Ad- Stephen Adams scores a double double, scores eleven points and ten rebounds in a game, but headlines the n- headlines the, the sporting news, okay? Because it's such a huge deal because we're building up because he's a New Zealander. Yeah, is, yep. is he a good player in terms of NBA stars? No, he's m- he's an average center. No, he is a slightly below average yeah. center. Be honest here. Yeah, he is a slightly below average center. He'll but get a decent he's contract. From, but because he's from New Zealand, the build up, the build up, the build up. From a marketability point of view, great. That's where the money is. So he's going to sell more shoes in New Zealand. He's going to get more people on telecom, NBA league pass buy rates and things like that. So that's good. And the same thing with Joseph Parker too. They're going to sell more pa- Team Parker shirts and Team Parker hoodies and things like that. And Duco are going to sell more mm. more um, um, they pay-per-view buys. But how does that, other, finan- other than financially, benefit Joseph Parker's long-term career? Because if he gets rushed to the title... Yeah, but he's going to get the eaten the alive. New Zealand media is not going to rush him to the title. No, but well what it's going to do is going to help. Yeah, but it's going to help. Well. But the management are dealing with the New Zealand media. They're the ones pushing and pushing, and they're pushing back, and they're making, they're building it all up. Don't you prefer Joseph Parker fight for the title when he's ready? Yeah. Do you, do you want to see Joseph Parker but start I to I fight I more I competitive do think guys? That they should be hyping up every fight. I don't. Th- I don't think they should just start to hype him up once he gets better. Start hyping him up now, oh. so he becomes a brand. So how about not hi- start to how about not hype him journey. up? But how about not hype him up, but report the facts and be like, you know, this, 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 and this. Like they were talking um, after after Parker's last fight, they were talking about how it was one of the biggest victories in New Zealand boxing. Who um, was his last fight against? Oh, it was a, it was a no one. It's, he's, he's only fought Journeyman, but they're talking about how it's the biggest thing and the biggest thing in New Zealand boxing since Tua fought for the world heavyweight title. Tua fighting um, Lennox Lewis is, for the world heavyweight massive. title. Do you know where I watched Lennox Lewis versus David Tua? I watched it in a house in a shack in Fiji. <laughs> no, no, no shit, okay? So I was on holiday in Fiji, and the resort had no television, all right? So we climbed up this hill in 2000, and we climbed up this hill in November of 2000 to go into the shack 
at this hill on this island on Castaway Island in Fiji. And we sat on a deck with 40 Fijians I thought was going to collapse watching a snowy as freaking picture of this. Yeah. And it became a huge deal. That was a real fight. That was a big deal. Yeah. Don't comment. Don't tell me Joseph Parker's last fight is the biggest, the biggest thing that happened since then. But so isn't yep. that a fact? Maybe. But isn't so that... what's the problem but with isn't that pro- fact? But isn't that proportionately out of, out of text? But, but it's still a fact, it's though, It's a fact, it? though, isn't it? Yeah, I see what you're saying. It's like them saying fight of the century. Obviously, it's not fight of the century. Yeah. But... Fight of the century to who? The Shane Cameron, David Tork. No, no, fight. what I mean is fight of the century to who? So they are sort of right. That is a fact. Mm. Could be the fight of the century for Cameron. You know, it turned yeah. out it turned out to be the fight of the century, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, right, and yeah. things like Should that. Should have been so the last fight of the century. You know, <laughs> so back to the Sunny Bill thing. I don't know. I'd like to see Sunny Bill fight Brown Butterbean. I think Sunny Bill would probably. I think it makes like more sense. That. Yeah, I think it makes more sense. I think um, uh, I, the problem is, the problem is, I, I, they Dave at the moment only th- doesn't fight any more than three round fights. Mm. So yeah, how do you pre- uh, how do you prepare? I think it was four rounds the last one. Fight for life. It was four rounds, I think. No. No, nah, it was three. He was fought. He, he fought three rounds. Three. Yeah, all, yeah, co- all, all corporates, are, all corporates three. are three. He fought three rounds of fight for life, but he'll probably fight three rounds against Finau Marker as well. So moving forward, though, can Dave w- would would sorry Brown Butterbean be able to stand with Sonny Bill Williams over eight rounds? You know, he might run out of gas or things like that. He'd have to knock Sonny Bill out. And yeah, I don't, I don't think that fight's like two years away at least, right? Oh, if Sonny Bull ever fights again, yeah, if he yeah. ever fights again, I, d- I, d- I don't even know if Sonny Bull ever fight again, you know? You know? So, yeah. I want to wait till the time when Etienne Nasseri calls out Brown Butterbean. When's that going to happen? <laughs> oh, mate, I, I only fight just for the pure sense that it's it's fun. <laughs> Etienne's a purist. He's a purist. People that want to fight Butterbean are only just going to feed into that whole machine that either make him look good or you actually want to... Make a name is, Brown is, is Brown Butterbean legitimately the best, the better fighter out of the guys that he's fought? I think he lost his last fight. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people do. I think I think he lost his last fight, but that doesn't mean that he's not a bad fighter or anything. I sure. think he's been improving a lot. Sure. Um, but I think it would be better for him to fight Sonny Bill. Makes sense money wise. Um, I, but the only the only thing is that it's only going to be people from Australia and New Zealand that are going to be interested in yeah. that result. It's, it's like all, th- all these fights. It's though. not going to cause any sort of changes in what's going to happen in world rankings, world rankings or anything like that. So it's just more of a, it's kind of like a CM Punk fight. Yeah, you know, watching a CM spectacle. Punk. Yeah, it's yeah, more of a spectacle. It's Is it a spectacle to CM Punk? No, no, probably not. Is it a spectacle? It's probably a spectacle to Dana White. Yeah, oh, as, for sure. as, as a cash cow. Dana White's life is a spectacle. It's a cash cow. That's what that's what I that bet really you it's is. A porno, his life, eh? Probably. All right. Porno drugs. Hey, <laughs> that's all the time we got. Sport and Raw this Sunday next week. We're going to be broadcast straight from the tap room, seventy four Wyndham Street, with that live week? live action next week. Yep. Thatch yeah, fight. versus oh, Henderson Thatch, yeah, yeah. fight night coming out of Colorado. Look forward uh. to it, Nate the White Guy. Thanks for your silence in the last hour. Hey, no problem. Really been appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> Moral support. We've worked out that you need to go get some new clothes and a haircut, and you'll be fine eventually. Yeah. And start Look putting some bets on with your intense sport knowledge. I will. You Except need to. Except not on yeah. UFC. Yeah. You I don't know anything about that. You could make no. some great, great money. Yeah. Itty Red Scarf. What's up? Always a pleasure. Always, my friend. Hey, start wearing the scarf again. Scarf Sky. JB. Hey, yo. Ultimate Rider. That's it. With a D. With a D. <laughs> <laughs> of the D. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dan. It's right out of the dean. Oh I'm wow. Dan. It's Paul and Bro. We're going to catch you all next week. Same time, same place, same link. Listen live or download us because we're going to get all the details to JB to upload them now. Yeah. Alrighty, kick back. Here's Pharrell. Okay. Here's Pharrell. Stay happy. <laughs>